Look, you're not a bad editor, and I'll show you how you can improve your video quality in Final Cut Pro. I've been there before. Someone gives me some low quality video, or more likely, I shot some bad video, and now I have to fix it. But you and I, we're not bad video editors. We got this. In this video, I'll show you how to jump your video quality up a level and fix problems like blurry, overexposed, or grainy footage. You'll walk away with high-end video quality that looks and feels professional. If you're just starting out, I'll show a trick for crisp video playback, and if you're an expert, I'll show an advanced Luma trick. Stick around till the end for a blurry video fix I've only seen in one other place. Your video quality might look bad, because of the playback settings in Final Cut Pro. Go to the right hand corner of the viewer and click on the view menu. You'll see these sections here, quality and media playback. Under quality, we have a couple choices. We can have better quality or better performance. If your video quality looks low, select better quality. However, your performance may suffer. You may get some dropped frames or playback may be sluggish. You can also change your media playback. For best quality, select optimized or original. Final Cut will play back a generated optimized file or it will play the original video footage that you imported. If you select proxy preferred, Final Cut will play the proxy file if it's available. If not, it will then play optimized or original. If you select proxy only, Final Cut will play only the proxy file. If you don't have a proxy file for it, then nothing will play back. You'll get this error. Proxy files aren't as high quality as optimized or original, but the playback is smoother and seamless. You can tell if your clip has proxy media by selecting it in the browser and then going to the inspector. If you don't see the inspector open over here on the right hand side, just press the inspector button up here with the sliders on it. Then go to the info inspector and look down at the bottom. You can see right here I have the original media for the clip, but I don't have any optimized or proxy media. You can create optimized and proxy media right here. Just click transcode media and then select what you want to create and press OK. If you have proxy preferred or proxy only selected, before you export your project, switch back to optimized or original. Otherwise, Final Cut will export the video using your proxy files and they just aren't as good a quality and your final product won't look as good. Another reason why you might have low video quality is because you're not zooming in correctly. I have this clip here. It's a 4K clip and this project is a 1080p project. If I select my clip, and go to the video inspector, I can see down here at the bottom that spatial conform is set to fit. Final Cut Pro automatically fit the big video into my smaller project. The problem is, is if I scale this up, when it's set to fit, I'm expanding those pixels and they don't have any more information in there and eventually that will start to pixelate or get artifacts in it and it won't look good. So the proper way to zoom is to change spatial conform. First I'll reset my scale and I'll set spatial conform to none. So this is my 4K video and it looks like it's zoomed in because it's not fitting it in. Instead it's just putting the video in there and wherever the viewer is it will chop off the sides and top and bottom bottom of the video. But now it's at 100% and I can go up to 100% without worrying about any degradation or resolution loss. If I want to fit the whole thing in there, I can set it to 50%. So I can work between 50 and 100% without losing any video quality. I can probably go over 100% a little bit, but not too much, then I'll start getting pixelation. Another bad video quality culprit is bad exposure. I've got this clip in my timeline and you can see that this is poorly exposed. My highlights are blown out and the shadows, they look mushy and the whole image is just washed out. But there's some things we can do to fix it. Let's open up our color grading tools. Go up to window, workspaces and select color and effects or press control shift two. These are different scopes and waveforms we can use to color correct and color grade. I'm interested in this one right now. So let's go to view and show just one scope and then let's pick the Luma scope. We want our values between zero and 100. We don't wanna go above 100, which we've done, and we don't wanna go below zero. 
In the inspector, click on the color inspector and then go to the exposure tab. Let's start with our shadows. Click this on-screen control for shadows and drag it down until we see over on the left our shadows get close to zero right here. Now let's pull our highlights down until they're below 100. But that pushed our shadows down below zero, so we'll just adjust our shadows until they're just above zero. That looks pretty good. You'll kind of go back and forth, give and take, until you get it just right. And let's pull our mid-tones up, this mid one and get our skin tones up into that healthier range. There we go. That looks pretty good. Here's our overexposed footage before and here it is after. Sometimes our footage looks bad because it's noisy or grainy. I've got some video here I shot at night of my son. Let's zoom in to see that. And we can see a lot of noise in his shirt and in his skin. But there's a couple things we can do to fix that. Open the effects browser and go to the basics category. Drag and drop noise reduction onto your clip. Play with the settings, but don't go too far. I'll put high here and I'll put maximum here. But look, these edges, these sharp edges, they get pixelated real bad. And then there's all sorts of noise being introduced and it looks worse than when I started. So be careful with these values. Let's try high and medium. That looks pretty good. And let's zoom out. So here's our video before noise reduction and after noise reduction. Be careful with this effect. It is resource intensive. It's going to use a lot of your computing power. So use it on clips that really need it and then shorten those clips to just the parts that need noise reduction. Are you ready to boost your video quality? Have you enjoyed this video? If so, please give it a like so others can see this video. In just a second, I'll share a tip for low resolution videos nobody's talking about. Maybe your video looks bad because it's blurry or it's lower resolution. I have a 720p clip here and it's in a 1080p project. And so it looks a little bit blurry. Let's zoom in on her face. You can see it's kind of blurry right here, but there's a couple things we can do to fix it. Go to the blur category in the effects browser and add sharpen to your clip. Be careful with this plugin, otherwise it can look really bad. Let's try about a five. That's pretty good. Here's before and then after. There's a very slight difference. Now, here's something we can do. We can stack it. I've only seen this one other time, but you can stack sharpen effects to improve it a little bit more without bringing up those demon shadows. So drag and drop sharpen onto your clip and then just match it. Let's go five again. And here it is without the effect, and then here it is with. We can see some more detail in her face there. That looks pretty good. We can also improve it with some color grading. Click on the color inspector, and let's open up our color grading tools with Control Shift 2. And let's show just the Luma waveforms. We've got a little bit of room here in the shadows, and the highlights can come down. So let's pull our shadows down just a little bit. And then let's also pull our highlights down so they're under 100. Let's pull our mid-tones up just a little bit. And under saturation, let's turn things up just a little bit, not too much. Now under color, I'm going to pull my highlights down into the blues to take them out to give it a little warmer look. And the same with the mid-tones, just a little bit, not a ton. And the shadows, I'm gonna pull up into the blues. And this gives us that teal and orange look famous in movies. Let's go back to our video inspector and we can turn off our effects to see the difference it makes. With the sharpen and the color grading, it looks sharper and we've reduced the blurriness. This is a great way to fix blurry or lower resolution footage. Here's what it looks like before and after. Now, bad quality video won't stop you in your tracks. You've got the tools and now you're ready to improve your video quality. My pal Chris made a video you might find helpful. It's called how to adjust brightness in Final Cut Pro. And you can click here to check it out.